Hey, what's up everybody? This is Two Tell Caper. It's been a while since I made a video, but um, it's really late at night again. <laughs> this is just going to be a short update video to compare the Eureka Entertainment um, UK Blu-ray Steelbook to the brand new, I think came out last month, Mill Creek uh, Blu-ray Steelbook. This one came out in the United Kingdom. This one came out in the United States. Um, so this really is just to, to compare the two releases. Um, I think both of them have their pros and both of them have their cons. Um, so we're just, first of all, we're going to get into the packaging and then we'll get into the, um, the content. So I've already done a full video unboxing review of this item. This is a pretty attractive black steel book with, um, why can't I remember her name? I just watched this movie like two days ago. Let me see. I feel so stupid. Tima. With Tima on the front, and you can see her robotic brain, and then it's got the Metropolis English and Japanese logo, and then it's completely black on the back, which is elegant, but it's also a little bit boring. Easily attracts scratches that are pretty visible, as you can see right there. Um, inside is a Blu-ray disc and a DVD disc. Now, the Blu-ray in front which I feel like loses points for not actually being the blue disc, but this is the Blu-ray, um, just uses, um, both of the discs use, like, promotional artwork from posters that are pretty well-known images, um, and that's a fine release. So if you want to see this in depth, I have a full video on that already, and you can go find that. But that's this still look. And then comes this... <laughs> the sexy beast. This has, as far as I can tell, brand new artwork or it's artwork that's inspired by a screenshot from the movie. As you can see, Tima's uh, artificial skin is peeling away um, to reveal her robotic insides. She's burning up. There's fire, there's flares, and on the back of it. Um, this is actually, what's really nice about this set is that it's a clear slip. So it'll slip off and there's basically no text almost no text at all on this, uh, on the steel book itself, which is really nice. Um, so they both pretty much have the same special features. They have the making of documentary that they carried over from the original, um, DVD release. They have like the comparison stuff. Um, they both have the English dub and the Japanese audio. Um, there's a few different selection options depending on which version, but we'll get into that in a little bit. So let's get this slip off so you can see the absolutely beautiful steel hook underneath. So it's completely devoid of text. Here's um rock, great red background. This whole steel book has been redesigned to fit the color red. They did use a, a green spine, which I feel like complements it nicely. Red and green are complementary colors. Um, the Metropolis logo is actually inset into the steelbook, like a debossing, which is really great. And then we open it up, we see this artwork here has been retooled to be red, and there's a nice surprise under these discs. So these discs, I don't, I don't think this artwork was promotion material. If it is, it's clearly been repurposed to fit this beautiful red color scheme. Um, so this is the Blu-ray disc with Tima and the Dove, or it might be a pigeon, and this is the DVD disc. And then when we take this off, we see the other, oh, they both have the same kind of design. Uh, you have to lift it out from this, but Tima's robot side is on this side, so it gives you this great spread, and it's absolutely gorgeous, I'm telling you. So... As far as content goes for these discs, um, okay, this one has disc recognition. If I put this into my PlayStation 4, it tells me that this movie is Metropolis. If I put this Blu-ray in, it tells me that it's a Blu-ray disc, which it's like, it's a small detail, but this gives, this gives it something a little more. Um, menus. This has seamless menus. This one has, um, it makes you go through a loading screen. 
when you want to go to the options. Um, as far as the options themselves, both discs have the English and Japanese audio. This one gives you 5.1 and 2.0 audio for both dubs. This one gives you 5.1 English dub and 2.0, uh, I think it's, what is it called on, on the slip? It's 2.0 uncompressed Japanese audio. I think they both have the same subtitles. They might be slightly different because they're from two different companies, but both of the subtitle tracks should be translated decent enough. And I actually think the English dub is better for this movie um, because the Japanese voice for Kenichi is so deep and he's supposed to be like a 10 year old kid. That doesn't make sense to me. So I think the English dub wins for this movie. Um, and the ending song is in English anyway, so it kind of, it just kind of ties it all together a little bit better when you watch it in English, in my opinion. If you like the Japanese, that's fine. There's clearly a lot of love and effort put into the Japanese dub. Um, speaking of the menu, well, we weren't speaking about the menus, but going back to the menus, and this is what really confuses me, neither of these movies have a scene select option. This one does have more scenes to go through so if you skip through it has 16 chapter stops this one only has 12 um, so it's easier to find the right scene that you want with this one because you have more places to stop this one is slightly harder to do so um i lost my train of thought <laughs> this is what happens in your core videos at like 1 a.m or getting close to it um yeah i oh uh, video quality. I don't know. This one came out after this one. Um, I don't. It seems to me like the video quality on this release is slightly sharper, slightly less grainy. The colors are a little bit more vibrant. Um, over overall, I think the color toning in this version of the movie is a little bit more vibrant, a little bit darker. This one seems a little bit washed out, in my opinion. Just viewing them on the same settings on my TV. This one looks more washed out, and this one looks more vibrant and more clean, more crisp. So video quality-wise, I think this one wins. Also with video on the menus, um, even though this one does have seamless menus, it's just a picture of Tima and the Ziggurat, or the city, I can't remember. But it's just a picture, no music, no absolutely nothing. This one gives you a really nice animated... Um, menu that you get to watch go by and it has a great jazzy soundtrack over it um overall because of the better packaging in my opinion because of the better better video quality because of the animated menus i think i am going to give the win to this i wish i had disc recognition i wish i had a scene select i wish the menus were seamless they're not but those are really small issues to be honest with you um, I think the presentation and the packaging on this version is better than this version. This version is still a good one to get, but I think it's actually more expensive than this one. Um, I, ha I like having them both because I'm a crazy person. <laughs> so I'm going to end up keeping both of these, but I do like this one more. When it comes time to watch the movie, I will get out the Mill Creek version to watch. Um, Maybe if I want to watch it in Japanese, I'll pull this one out for the 5.1 audio. Uh, and because this one is actually region free, um, the Blu-ray is anyway. The DVD is probably locked, but the Blu-ray does work in region A only Blu-ray players. Um, but I think overall, the win does go to this one. Um, so I highly recommend picking up this version of the movie if you live in the United States. This one does state that it's locked to region A. If you live outside of the United States, this is a great release to get to if you live in Europe. Um, or anywhere actually, because it is, it's basically region free. Um, but I think this one, for my, for my opinion, this one wins overall. And this is the one I'm going to go to when I watch the movie, because I'll probably never watch the Japanese, because I like the English stuff too much. Um, that is about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope to be putting out something uh, more pretty, you know, sooner than I did before because there was a long gap between my last video and this one. But I hope you guys enjoyed and um, if you want to see more, definitely subscribe. I plan to put out more videos. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great night.